things I think. Yes. The universe is very big. I am in a cafe. I think poetry is the sound of a broken heart masturbating. And the best stuff you ever came up with was probably going like an early vote on some Facebook status update. And I think you should stop doing that. Also, I am using you to be me. This is either because A, I am using a boring literary device very badly, or B, you are, I mean, I am probably on the autism spectrum because everyone is on the autism spectrum and mixing up personal pronouns is a thing for people like us. Um, and switch. I don't like using ordered lists in spoken word poetry, but there's no word that corresponds to bullet point, and so it is hard to use unordered lists in spoken word poetry. Ah! I think the bullet is usually silent or applied, but fuck that, I'm going to say bullet for now on because who wants to listen to a poem that is silently trying to kill them without telling them? And switch. The universe is made of mostly empty space and is full of giant white burning frisbees. If you tried to catch one, it would probably burn your hand off even if you were 10 galaxies tall and wore titanium gloves. I think it would be like trying to stroke a lightsaber or trying to jack off the sun god. Also, I think if genitalia were made of lasers, humans would masturbate less and fuck more. And fucking would sound like Star Wars and it would probably be a lot more awesome. <laughs> also, I wonder if Klingons have laser genitalia. In my fanfiction, which is itself a fiction because it's not yet written, Klingons have laser genitalia. And switch. The universe is very complicated. I think being a human is a lot like being a computer. It means being full of circuits and logic and magic and beauty and abstraction. It means the details of operation are hidden so deep inside you, you mostly never think about them unless something is broken and needs to be fixed. Also, I think being a computer is a lot like being human, only more stupid, and we're right about more things more often so that when you need to know the right answer, you never ask your friends or a book, you always ask the computer. Some people say computers are only good at finding answers and it takes people to come up with questions, but this is a lie because computers talk to one another all the time using servers and servers use protocols which are like matters and protocols have requests and responses, and this is a lot like knock knock. Who's there? 10.8.7.4.63419. What's that? <laughs> Please enter your password, server time timeout. So it's false that computers don't know how to ask questions and switch. So here's an unordered list of things I think. Bullet. God isn't dead because people are alive and they keep remodeling him and every time they release a new generation it looks a lot more like Steve Jobs. Bullet. 80% of the Canadian hipster population lives in Vancouver. Bullet. The universe is unstable. Bullet. The Northern Gateway Pipeline will bring in enough revenue per capita per year to buy every indigenous person in Canada. A case of cheap beer once a year, it will also buy every white settler a nice bottle of wine. Bullet. The universe is unstable and imbalanced. Bullet. When people are shooting at you, it is stupid to run because gunfire travels faster, and that is why every movie you've ever seen is wrong. And switch. I think life is like a computer because I work with computers a lot, and so all my analogies are about computers. Also, I learned once that angel comes from the Greek word angelos, which means messenger, and demon comes from the Greek word demon, which means unseen power. And so, in other words, a demon is an unseen worker, and in Linux, a demon is a process running in the background on your computer. And the moral of the story is that I think whenever someone presents you with a PowerPoint slideshow and they don't pronounce the bullet, it means they're trying to shoot you without telling you, and you should probably run. And even if you did, it probably wouldn't do you any good because PowerPoint talks are designed to kill you quickly, and that is why I write spoken word poetry in the end. Thank <laughs> you.